two of this series, I'm going to show you how to um, make the ramrod itself. So I'm going to take first take the ramrod blank. These are available. These hickory blanks are available from various companies. I'll put a few links in the description. Um, and then I'm going to mark a little above the barrel. Normally you only want to do about an inch. I'm doing a little farther for reasons you'll see later. And then I'm going to trim it. With a hand saw. So, now that I have it trimmed, the next step is, I'm going to use this, same little jig I used on the horn, or something like it. And you put... I'm going to mark my depth, and then I'm going to take one of these things, or a homemade one if need be, and set that to the depth on the inside of the um, tip. I'm then going to rotate the ramrod oh, face up against here and then use that little point to get a, some marks. And that should be. I'm then gonna take a coping saw or a thin blade saw like that. Rotate this around and evenly cut it while rotating. I'm then gonna take a rasp. This little four in one guy. You start rasping material off. And we have to work it down till this starts to go over, which it's already starting on the tip. You gotta work this down. Nice and evenly, and you gotta keep rotating to keep it centered. You can also do this on the lathe, which I'll demonstrate later in the video. That's why I cut it long. But as you can see it, you can file that down pretty easy and you got your fitment. I'll now do this on the lathe to show you if you have a lathe what that process is but 
as you can see that looks pretty good doing it with a hacksaw and a file so if that's all you got it can definitely be done so if you have a lathe this makes this job a lot easier you put your ramrod in the chuck now I'm assuming right now this is a wood lathe it's actually a metal lathe I'm using it as a wood lathe but it would be the same process and you set your rest up you then take your tip and if you have a set of calibers this makes it easier but You then mark your depth. And then Take the chisel and scrape the material off. Try not to get stuck. Didn't do it at one, but and as you can see, this method also works pretty good. You see, the tip is fed on centered and will function well. So, the next thing, once you get your, get the rod fitted to the tip, you need to epoxy it on. You don't necessarily have to do this, you can pin it, but I don't know if you're going to be using it. Not traditional, but stronger, the better. I'm using some of this 5-minute epoxy, this works great, but you can use any epoxy would, that works on wood and metal should work. I'm going to squirt that on. Um, and then I like to put a little color to it. Just so it, if you have a little bit on the outside, it doesn't show up as good. It also helps with the mixing process. Let me mix this for a few minutes and then call her good with a toothpick. Probably got more than I needed there. Now I'm going to take my ramrod.
give her a good coating of epoxy. Try not to drop your thing on the floor, but I think I got enough here. Then take your tip. Like that. Just press it right on. Wipe off any excess. And then let that set up and then you can pin it. So now that the now that the end is epoxied on, I'm gonna take and um take a center punch and punch for my pin I'm then going to take a drill bit the diameter of my pin and drill the hole out I now have a hole through there that my pin fits in nice and tight. I'm then gonna, this pin has a little rust on it, so I'm gonna lightly steal that off. And then you're gonna put a drop of Gorilla Glue in the pinhole. And put the pin through there. Hex on both sides of it. So then come over to a hard metal surface. Peen the ends of the pin. After I peen both ends of the pin, I'll take a file, that way it doesn't rub against the barrel. Um, after I do this, I'm then going to sand the rod a little bit. Um, I'll just take some sandpaper, like around 150. So now I think the wood is adequately sanded, so... I mean, I'm gonna put a little stain on it.
You can use whatever stain you want. I got this Laurel Mountain Cherry. They'll look good. Make sure I get all the dust off it. The um, ramrod is nice and stained, so I'll let that dry and then I'll put some sealer on it. So, after the stain dries, um, take a little bit of finish. sealer might want to do a couple coats and get it nice and sealed up so I hope you enjoyed the video please be sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe for more great content and check out our Instagram page at, at squirrel tail show